with the rules of cubic equations we can play a bit you know what happens is that you have essentially three rules now these three rules can be such that they are in arithmetic pro progression so what happens in that case let's just try to figure out so if you say that you know three rules three rules of a cubic equation are in AP are in AP they may be taken as what now in AP what happens you have the same difference right so they may be taken as A A minus D A plus D so this is in arithmetic progression right in that case what will happen in that case the summation of alpha okay the sum of alpha the sum of alpha will become simply 3a why because d will just get cancel out okay so you will have thrice of a okay now summation of alpha 1 alpha 2 or summation of the two roots okay will essentially become a into a minus d plus a into a plus d plus a minus d into a plus d right so this will essentially become 3a square plus or oh, minus d square sorry minus d square 3a square minus d square because ad ad will get cancelled out from here okay so 3a square minus d square apart from that uh, what we have that in case you're looking for the product of all three roots okay product of all three roots will equal to simple a minus a into a minus d a into a plus d so this will essentially be a into a square minus d square so that's the relationship between the roots and uh, roots and the coefficient will be in that case now what happens when these are in gp you have three roots and these three roots are in gp then the roots can be taken up as a the ratio is say r so before a you can have a by r and after a you can have a r right now so summation alpha would essentially be a by r plus a plus a r summation alpha 1 alpha 2 will equal to a by r into a plus a into a r plus a by r into a r so this will essentially be a square by r plus a square r r r cancels plus a square so essentially it will be a square into 1 by r plus r plus 1 okay so that's what it's gonna be and and what will happen to summation uh, what will happen to the product alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 it will essentially be it will essentially be a by r into a into a r so it will be a q now what happens if these three roots are in harmonic progression if they are in harmonic progression then the roots can be taken as alpha beta gamma okay gamma where beta the middle one would essentially be equal to alpha twice of alpha gamma upon alpha plus gamma okay now these are in hp these are in hp so therefore this implies 
one form alpha, one form beta, one form gamma. These are in R in AP or arithmetic progression. And one minus or one upon beta will essentially equal to the average, right? So AP one upon alpha plus one upon gamma upon two. So therefore this will imply that your beta will equal to two alpha gamma upon alpha plus gamma and from here we are getting this. Okay, so that's what happens in harmonic progression. Okay, now few other important things that we must remember when we are dealing with the, you know, equations and roots. What we need to remember that any equation, any polynomial equation, if if the equation a naught x n plus a one x n minus one plus so on and so forth a n minus one x plus a n equals to zero. Okay, where a naught does not equal to zero. Okay, and all these are real numbers. If if the, this equation has if this equation has a, a complex root, a complex root, complex root will look like the number P plus IQ, okay, where P and Q are real and I is the imaginary number, then, then it will have another root, then it will have another root p minus iq p minus iq so basically complex roots are always in pair complex roots are always in pair okay Complex roots are always in pair. Okay, and they are basically in conjugate, conjugate pair. Okay, these are called conjugate, conjugate pairs. Okay, and in fact, you know, let me just add on another thing. If you have irrational if you have irrational roots, then they are also in pair. Then they are also in pair always. Okay? They are also in pair always. So remember these two facts. So essentially your complex roots will always be in pair, the conjugate pairs and even your um, irrational roots. So you know for example if you are talking about the, if you are talking about you know complex roots uh, they will be in pair in, in this form P plus IQ, P minus IQ. In irrational you know say if root 3 is a root of some equation then along with it another irrational root will be there. It will not uh, you know come just just as a single one it will have it will have another irrational root for sure 